Now you're your lover's spy. God works in mysterious ways. Love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one that's truly for you. A gift from God. When you least expect it, the love of your life walks into your life. Not to dim your light, but to allow you to see the light that God installed within you. When it came to love, healthy love at that, and existence, someone is willing to be real with you, not shortchange you, abuse you, disrespect you, but meet you halfway in the most healthiest way. You know, be your peace in the most healthiest way. But I'm having a gaslight you because they truly invested. They meant what they said and they said what they meant. They only saw you and they only see you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and just because moments. Someone that's willing to choose you every single day and not distract you, discourage you, allow you to feel like you're unworthy of yourself, but to bring value to your life in the most healthiest way to love you and respect you, to honor you and show you at the end of the day that your past don't live for the day. Someone that walks into your life and acknowledges the fact that, wow, you are a blessing from God. Someone that's willing to look into your eyes and see that at the end of the day, hey, I'm true to you to be true to myself and I ain't trying to shortchange myself because I understood my worth. The energy had different. When God is truly patient with you and God shows you at the end of the day that true love does exist with the right one that's mentally, truly for you in the most healthiest way. And y'all willing to be on the same page. The energy had different. When the love of your life walks into your life, not to shortchange you. True love is real. True love is one of a kind with the right one. That's truly for you. <laughs> it's the full process for me. I gotta go. Love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one. That's truly for you. If you're not mentally ready to be in a relationship, leave innocent people alone. It's the full process for me. Having self-love for yourself is not a crime. Believing in yourself and standing in your own lane with no malicious intentions regardless of your sexual orientation, your disability, your culture, your religion. You matter, you're worthy. Never allow someone to dim your light because they don't see your worth. Never allow someone to dim your light because they don't know how to value your time or respect you. When you're not asking for much, but respect. Never shortchange yourself. Allow someone to gaslight you. To act like they're so invested into you at the end of the day. Especially when you know pain and trauma. You're not trying to relive that. And I say that respectfully. Not everybody's for you. Protect your energy. It's the thought process for me. If you're not mentally ready to be in a relationship, leave innocent people alone. Especially an individual that understands trauma and pain and they're not trying to relive that and they see something within you that your past can show up for was to be there for you. Leave innocent people alone. Stop gaslighting people at the end of the day saying that you're so invested and the pillow talks ain't adding up. Because you ain't ready for somebody real. You're not ready for a healthy relationship, a companionship, or a marriage. Leave innocent people alone. And I say that respectfully. Because someone understood trauma and pain to overcome or they know how to remove that mask and show it for themselves without gaslighting themselves. And you don't understand how they overcame. It's not meant for you to understand God's plan when it came to that child of God. And I say that respectfully. It's a thought process for me. Leave innocent people alone if you're not mentally ready to be in a relationship. With God's protection for every direction, any negative energy actually to return back to sender. It's the thought process for me. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you deserve to be treated with respect. The rest of the five days with no malicious intention to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. Protect your energy because not everybody is having your time of your day. You matter and you are worthy. Never allow a hate in disguise or personal malicious intentions like you with your thought parts and in your pockets or your eyesight. You matter. Having self-love for yourself is not a crime. Never allow someone to judge you because of your cover. Because you can self-reflect and have the proper self-awareness to stay in your own lane with no malicious intentions. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. You know how to respect your neighbor. It's the thought process for me. Leave innocent people alone. Be mindful when judging a book by its cover. I hope you find peace in your own lane one day. It's the thought process for me. I truly preach your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day. Have a safe week. Have a safe remaining month. Have a safe remaining year. Have a safe weekend. Protect your energy because nobody's serving your time of your day. You matter. You're worthy. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. I need a nap. No, I need a nap right now. I got to go. Ah.
Have a good day. Nigerian love respect.